Hi, I'm Caitlin. Hi, I'm Jess. Hi, I'm Darren. And welcome back to 3 in 3. It's the 3 in 3! This week we are talking about TikTok cracking down on harmful content, some SEO insights into the use of dates in meta titles, and also some updates from Google Ads into automated extensions. So, point number one is that Google is cracking down on harmful content, dangerous content. TikTok's received a lot of backlash over its use of viral trends that have been potentially dangerous to people. From this backlash and the criticism they've received, they're cracking down on harmful content and they've actually revealed that in the last quarter of 2021, 89% of videos that actually had the harmful content inside them were taken down before they even got a single view, which I thought was quite impressive. Quick. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of the responsibility with the size of that platform, especially with the audience, is kind of a yeah. lot younger and yeah, exactly. impressionable. Mm-hmm. I'd guess it's kind of something that they need to do. The bigger they get, then the more people get exposed. Like I know even my niece is kind of obsessed with TikTok. Some of the trends, like people don't realise that the like there was one and it was something like how to make a vase out of like a glass bottle like a wine bottle or something mm. and everyone was doing it but then someone did it and obviously they got really hurt because obviously yeah. they were like putting hot water in glass and stuff and yeah never a good idea yeah, like do not should, try that at home they should just be checking things yeah yeah our next update is all about seo and john Mueller himself who has said that putting your dates in your meta titles doesn't actually impact your SEO positively or negatively. So there's been a lot of debate about whether putting your dates in your meta titles actually helps your SEO, especially for like news articles, blogs, that sort of thing. We don't actually do it for our blogs, but yeah, basically you don't have to if you don't want to. I also feel like you're kind of wasting valuable real estate for like keywords and actual terms that you want to rank for, I think. Mm -hmm. The only relevance I'd imagine it would be would be the date for certain things like roundups for 2022 yeah trends and stuff people are searching for but i can't see any benefit of having a full date unless you get an industry that requires that then yeah like a news article or like publishing that sort of thing Mm. so our final update for you this week is google ads are making changes to automated extensions so that now they are eligible to be combined with your manually added extensions So four is the maximum number of extensions you can have on your Google Ads. So if you don't have four manually added extensions, Google will then automate extensions to take up more real estate on the SERP. It's a kind of trend towards more machine learning as well, like automating ads as well. Google's kind of trend is pushing everything towards automation. So by them kind of automating what they think your target audience would click on, it it gives you an extra option. Google will show what ones they're running, you can get different results back. It kind of informs you on what extensions you should be using. So you can kind of pause them, which is, it used to be uncontrollable, I think. So now they're adding more automated learning and then giving you the option to choose. And I think a lot of small businesses that are kind of focused just like purely on like the running and maybe they haven't quite got to the stage where they're doing Google Ads like in depth. Yeah. Then I think the, the automated thing is going to really help. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think extensions themselves can add more space on, as, on the SERP, as you kind of said. It's yeah. like, if you're trying to get landing pages, it might add an extra call because you might be un- not understand your clients properly. Mm-hmm. So if it gives the option to call, whereas normally you'd be trying to get them to the web page to sign up, it might improve conversions and stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, let us know what you're excited for, what you're looking forward to in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. 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 Nice. You can do it. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we've just got a request to go live with someone. Oh, uh, they've stopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk. It's the three in three.